right, good evening. These are your notes for the Red Book Chapter 11.3 on Coordinate Plane. Yesterday you did ordered pairs and used coordinates to plot points going across and then up and down a grid. And your grid, your graph kind of looks something like this. And this is your X and this is your Y. And you knew these lines were called axes or axis. Each one is axis. This is the plural form, axes. Now, this is only part of the graph. You had your little points all over here. And actually, that's only one fourth of the graph. It actually extends in both directions. And this whole thing is called the coordinate plane. Okay. Now there's lots and lots of vocabulary with this coordinate plane. The first thing we're going to talk about is the origin. This is called the origin or the original point or the starting place, your beginning spot. You're going to want to define origin. So you're going to need to use your textbook for that. Okay. Now we have some more vocabulary that we need to talk about. When you think of four, when you think back to your vocabulary, the word four, quad or quadrilateral or quadrangle, any of those, quad means four, quadruplets means four kids. Quadrilateral is a figure with four sides. All right, so anything with four is going to be considered a quad. And looking at our coordinate plane, we actually have four sections. Notice I'm not getting out a ruler to do this. I just draw it real quick. But these are our four sections. We have one, two, three, four sections. Don't put those dots on your paper. All right, these quadrants, quadrant, love how that says that's green. Sure looks purple to me. Quadrant. This was the first one you learned where everything in your ordered pairs was positive. All of these numbers were positive and all of these numbers were positive. And it's the first one you learned, so it's quadrant one. Next, we're going to go around the circle, or around the quad quadrants, in order. So this is going to be quadrant 2, and this is going to be quadrant 3, and this is going to be quadrant 4. And they're always numbered in Roman numerals, like you see here, so that's important. Make sure you're using Roman numerals. These are your quadrants. Now, if these numbers, if this line is positive and this line is positive, what do you think these other two lines are? That's right, negative. Okay, remember negatives were always to the left, always to the left, and negatives were always below zero. Remember, this is our origin, our original point, and negatives were always below zero because this origin was zero, zero. So that means anything over here in quadrant three, if this one was positive, positive, and that means this one's going to be negative, negative. And quadrant two, little shortcut, they're going to be negative and positive. And quadrant four is going to be positive, then negative, because we go across the positive first, and then we go down the negative. All right. That's something you're going to have to commit to memory so that you can label them. It's going to be part of your practice today in your assignment. You're actually going to label some points and given some points you're going to find them on a graph and tell which quadrant it is and what's its ordered pair. Remember these are the ordered pairs and the Roman numerals are the quadrants. You can see some additional examples on page 610 in your textbook and 611 in your textbook. There are nine examples there for you. Happy working. Talk to you later. Bye.